Hey you guys, I really want to get connected with Archangel Raphael here today and I just, I just want to share that super happy, super lighthearted, silly side of him and who knows, whenever I, I put an intention out there, I want to get the happiest side of Archangel Raphael, you know, and cheer us up and fill us up with joy and laughter and then, then it gets all serious and deep, so who knows, who knows. Uh, we'll just see how Archangel Raphael wants to share the message with us today. And I, I just want to reiterate on his style being <laughs> very masculine but very feminine as well. And I think that's really appropriate for the energies right now as we explore the, the male and female within us. As we explore ourselves as either male or female or however we define our gender identity. Um, in a world that wants male and female but really, um, we're becoming a world that wants diversity. And Archangel Raphael is all about diversity, all about Mother Earth's energy, creativity, creation, green healing, all that kind of stuff, and laughter. So I'm just gonna relax and let's just see what um, Raphael has to share with us today. All right, no crazy calamity energy. And there's something of an idea that, um, you know, how, how shall I make my entrance? And we see like this crazy meteor coming out of the sky and it's a, all like a meatball on fire. <laughs> and this is what it looks like, a meatball on fire coming out of the sky and then it just comes down and it's gonna make its big impact and poof, there's Archangel Raphael, but there's nothing happening. <laughs> He's sort of sending me this idea. And he's like, well, why isn't that happening, Abby? Let's make this happen. Let's make this happen. I was like, okay, I'm seeing it. I'm really seeing it. Giant meatball on fire, a meatball meteor coming out of the sky. And here it is. It's going faster, 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 but a impact. And now it's Archangel Raphael. But the impact is still kind of like a, did it really happen? Did a meatball just come out of the sky and blow up on the ground? Is Archangel Raphael really in there? There's something sort of like, um, I want more believability or I want more realism. I, I want it to be that funny. I want it to be that surreal, but there's something of the energy vibe that says, I also want it to be real. Like, I, want it to, I don't want it to be silly. I want it to be real and real and funny but real, I really want to see something real. So let's see where the vibes take us. I go to Archangel Raphael and I tell him, I want to see the real you, Archangel Raphael. I want to see the real you. And he's like, ooh. He says, I want to see the real you, Abby. And he looks at everybody in the YouTube. He, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. <laughs> you know, all the people watching this video over the timeline, he's like a pointing. He says, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. And he wants to see the real you. He wants to see the real you. He says, what does that mean exactly? What is the real you? What does the real us look like? 
he said he says in a sad way i know the real people <laughs> who can make us laugh wholeheartedly and bring us even to our knees in laughter and crying and hysteria and these people there are some of them that aren't allowed to freely boisterously be themselves the relationships with family with friends with work it creates a zip and of the lip and a button and an inspiration for professionalism for seriousness and that isn't their spirit their spirit isn't serious their spirit is laughter He wants to know how many of you out there have a funny side that you hide in a box, you tone it down because you don't want to overwhelm people. Why what is it about this world that doesn't allow us to be who we truly are? What is it about this world where we have to hide our true selves or where the laughter can't get outrageous? And we got to tone that laughter down. It's inappropriate. <sighs> He shows me children that are turning black and white. <sighs> and the laughter of children in the restaurant in the next door neighbor's yard and herds of bicycles riding down the street and disappearing. the disappearing laughter He says what happened to the laughter what happened to the comedians where is the funniness he's talking about the human race and how we comfort each other how we express ourselves if we took the laughter out of our hearts if we took the laughter out of our spirit we become black and white we become gray and in a way we become dead inside it's like the day the music died is the day the laughter died too He's showing me a f- bunch of family members, older. Everybody's all grown up, but the parents and these grown-up brothers and sisters are sitting at the family kitchen table, and there's like eight seats here, and the Monopoly game is out, <laughs> just like old times, and. Everybody has a story to tell at this table. And not every story is a good one. <sighs> But somehow when they all get together, they can laugh and they get loud and they tease each other and they get angry and they play aggressively and they give up and then they don't give up and then suddenly they're winning again. and it's just a a riot <laughs> of drama and jokes and fun and youthfulness <sighs> those were the good old days he says he shows me the further we rewind time We don't have a TV to entertain us. We have each other. And we got to find the humor within ourselves. We got to communicate. He says humor isn't the only way to touch a person's life. Humor has a way of evaporating any any dismal energy. It just goes away with laughter. 
But he says sometimes serious communication is, is valuable and precious too. And not everybody is a comedian. Some of us are shy. Some of us are more serious. The communication is precious. Smiles are precious. Touching each other's hearts is a precious, precious thing. <sighs> he shows me that at this family table with the Monopoly game, that somehow I'm watching each one of these eight people slowly disappear and there's only one family member left so all the others died and they're having to play Monopoly with themselves and it's just not the same it's just not the same without my family here without the laughter and the fun and I miss them I miss them a lot Archangel Raphael says that we can feel this way sometimes. That the laughter died. <sighs> he asks me, do we want something that is real? What is the real Archangel Raphael? What is the real you? What is the real me? Is a meatball meteorite falling from the sky not real? Or maybe our imaginations are so real that they create silliness and laughter and lightheartedness and we can escape in a, a place that reminds us of being children again. And that place is real. But maybe you grow up into an adult and you don't, you put away the childish ways, you put away the silliness, you stop laughing. You definitely don't laugh in public. You definitely don't laugh loud in public. He asks again, who is the real me? Who is the real you? Who are we? Really, maybe being comedians, maybe being children, maybe playing games is part of who we are. And maybe it's okay to turn up the volume on those aspects of ourself and so we can feel more like that part of ourself which is jolly and boisterous and lighthearted, innocent and playful and imaginative. He says the more black and white we choose to be, the more we will define ourselves, the real us, as black and white people, as grayed out people. And the more our children will grow up to become just like us, in a world where the laughter has died. He starts to cough and he shows me he's on stage giving this very deep presentation to what is an audience of crickets. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm gonna drop the mic and <laughs> get out of this serious sight. Let's all smile, let's all lighten up. Let's all have fun. <laughs> Let's all be ourselves. Mm. He just shows me the crickets turning into a, adults and the adults looking at each other and turning into children and then the children running around this theater 
um, chasing each other, hiding, jumping out and scaring each other, laughing. Um, some push each other on the ground. This one boy pushes this girl on the ground, the girl gets up and she just jumps on him, pushes him to the ground and then there's other kids, but it's, it's almost like playful. It's just so like, oh, I'm gonna get you. And then it's just so, somehow it turns all, it always into laughter and more intensity and more playing and more, until everybody is so pooped out from all the playing that we all go to sleep. <laughs> all the kids are all in sleeping bags. And some are and some aren't. They're sleeping in all types of weird, awkward positions, just like kids do, the most impossible positions they can sleep in it and wake up without a, a leg cramp or anything. <laughs> like nothing happened. And they're all sleeping in the most odd positions. And there's just such beautiful dreaming going on. You know, flying to ice cream land, <laughs> dinosaurs in yellow polka dot pants, dancing, <laughs> magicians revealing bunny rabbits out of hats. It's really fun in their dreams too. And these are the adults we're looking at, the adults that decided to be children for a while and then got conked out from all the fun and now are having childlike dreams. He's smiling. All of the color and all of this radiant color is starting to fill this theater. It rainbows and rainbows and rainbows and rainbows of color. And I see all of the, the children which also kind of echo as adults that are drooling, snoring, um, <laughs> all this <laughs> happening. Um, everyone's glowing and their hearts are really big and bright and they brush off the bad news really quickly because playing and having fun is way more exciting, way more important than holding on to the sad stuff. Archangel Raphael's coming back and he's smiling at me and he takes a bow and he says that he hopes that you all enjoyed his message today. And he's kind of like a magician and he uses his like angel robes to like hide his, to hide his body and he's sort of looking and then he's sort of like a magician and he kind of like disappears, you know in a puff of like smoke or something and he just suddenly disappears and everything is quiet <sighs> well there you have it hmm. Archangel Raphael he's really cool hmm. alright that's all I'm gonna say for this message I hope you guys enjoyed it and if any of you are interested in connecting with me one-on-one -on -one for a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I want to thank you all for watching, and I wish you all a wonderful day.